How we doing folks? Back out. So we're gonna do a wee trek down the Ayrshire Coastal Path. So right now we're at the new As you say, leave only footprint. That's the New York Castle. Beautiful day, adding out in the distance. So, at the moment, we're just in the wee village. This is us uh, coming down to the harbour section. A bit breezy than out, but hopefully we'll get a nice shelter but kind of further down. But can't get village. So stay with us. So I do love I do love the Usher Coast. Obviously I'm from the Shire, the centre of the earth. But you just don't get stuff like this anywhere else. It really is, it's El Squirt show. Sun's in the sky, no clouds. Let's go on with it.
for here. So, yes, our coastal path, stunning, absolutely stunning, especially on a nice night like this. Tent set up tonight, I've got the Z Packs duplex, great lightweight tent, very, very lightweight, Five, 539 grams, what a bit of kit. Sleeping bag, just the usual, Leviathan 900, probably actually don't even need that tonight, it's roasting. Uh, climate static V recon pad, silver foil pad. Uh, have I got my Osprey, Osprey rucksack, packed to the gunnels. Gathered plenty of driftwood for a fire, do a bit of cooking later on. Basically set up folks, ready to go. So I'm going to do a wee solo tonight, there was actually, uh, there was actually somebody who was supposed to be coming. Yeah, but can't make it now. So, all my lonesome again. Not that it bothers me, because everybody knows I love a solo camp. I did actually bring him a, a tent, so I've actually humped in. My bag weighed an absolute ton on this hike. An absolute ton. But I'm here, and I'm a lot lighter on the way back. So, I'm going to get settled in. I think what I'll do, before I do anything, I think we'll crack open a wee cider. Why not? Tell you though, it's no easy that. But somebody's gotta do it. So we got this bottle of beer open first. That'll do it. Bottle of beer, don't drink beer. Bottle of cider. So a wee cheeky Henry Westons. Cheers. I'm actually tempted to go in for a wee dip. I really am very tempted. It's probably absolutely freezing though. I know some folk I think I've said before like that cold water swimming but I don't know if it's for me. But I must admit it's absolutely boiling in there so I don't know if I'm going for a swim but I might just go in for a week in a paddle there. Aye, up to my ankles. Folks, can't tell a lie, that was freezing. <laughs> Absolutely Baltic. It's not quite summer yet. The water's freezing, but the actual temperature just now, I don't know, it said it was about 16, 17 degrees. So, for Scotland, that's a summer's day. That's taps half weather. I think this weekend is to be scorching all weekend. So, this is the Friday. I won't be out tomorrow, but I might actually go and take the kayak out tomorrow. It's supposed to be boiling all day, so. Won't be a camp bid or anything, but I'll maybe take my, take my wee two wee daughters out for a wee kayak. Do a wee barbecue on the beach or something. Talking about barbecues, there's a bit of cooking happen later, so don't go away. You just can't beat this fuck, can you? Beat sitting in a house, for sure. What a view as well, and just total, whole place to myself. Peace and quiet. Good for this soul. Change of plan. Uh, for that fella Ryan, he's actually, he's going to cut, he's coming down now. So, I didn't come for that tent in for nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that up. Uh, I can't remember the name of the tent. It's not a 3FUL, what is it? Unigear. Unigear Space Dome. So, I'm going to set that up for him. Uh, so when he gets here, he can just 
can pay slow. Well, the set up, you can just pay slow. Sit down, sit and enjoy the view, have a few drinks, have some tea, shoot the breeze, know how it is. It's good to be out. Right, like I said, I'm going to set this up for Ryan. So, this is the Unigear Space Dome 2. What I do like about this tent is that it's the, it's the carry bag. It's not often you get, most tents you get, the kit that you basically stuff it all in the top. But this one actually goes in from the side, as you can see. So, very, very easy to kind of pack it back up again. So, I'm going to set this up. Probably see me do a wee review of this. But what we'll do is we'll get it set up for Ryan so when he gets here, we'll try to see if he's settled in, good to go. So let's go in with it. So this is a Unigear Space Dome 2. Actually lots of space in this tent, for a two man, good height, take you inside. Boom. So as you can see, it's definitely it's a pretty spacious tent. There's definitely, for a two man, there's absolutely loads of room on it. What I do like is it's got a door at either side. I always like tents that have got a door at either side, especially two person tents, if there is two of you. It's always handy, it saves you having to crawl over the top of somebody. Much the same with my uh, Z Pax duplex. It's got a door at both sides. But as I must admit I do like this. It's a good wee tent. Pocket at the end, lots of space, lots of height. You can sit up in it. Ideal. That's Ryan's tent all set up. I'm set up, we're good to go folks. Friday night, the sun is shining, loving the dream. Cheers. So it should be a good wee night, let's say we've got a wee uh, got a fire going later on. Get some cooking done. I'll wait till, I was going to start cooking in a wee minute, but I'll wait till, I'll wait till Ryan gets here. You just have to wait and see what's cooking. What's cooking in Carl's kitchen tonight? Well, it might be what's cooking in Ryan's kitchen. No, I'm more like that. I've actually got it. I've got some food to cook. The last few times I've been out with Ryan, it's a usual story when you go to anybody else. Everybody else ends up cooking and I don't. But tonight, I've got stuff to cook, so I'm going to cook it. I'm quite sure Ryan will bring some with him as well. Ideal, that's just ideal. So I've got my bitty big Q with me tonight, the retractable grill. So I'm going to kind of try and use that. I've got my TF grill, a couple of different things. So I'm going to cook one of the things on the grill and one of them on, sorry, one of them on the, the bitty big Q grill and one of them on the uh, Grill. Oh, what a night by the way, it is absolutely, it's El Scorpio. It's like summer time. Here comes the sun, na 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 na, here comes the sun. He's riding his way, so he should be here in about another 10 minutes. What a perfect night for camping. Absolutely perfect. So, once he's here, I might even get that fire on because I'm starting to get hungry. Feed me, feed me now. <laughs> but when I say it's a stunning night, it is. It's, it honestly is, it's like summer. It, it, it's just. It's just so good to get some sunshine on it. Good old vitamin D. It's good to have. 
good fee in it. It's just nice to be, see, see be able to come out and sit in a, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Just can't beat that, can you? For all I like winter camping, that's a nice time of year as well. No midges. Weather's getting better. To be honest, you don't get many midges in the coast. That's sometimes what I quite like. I found last year, uh, I did actually go quite a lot of coastal camps, right in the kind of height of summer. Because sometimes when you go see like a Galloway forest, midges are rife, absolutely rife. And if anybody that goes camping though, especially in Scotland, the midges, they are a nightmare. Whereas, there's going to be no midges here. Like you say, the wind's kind of died in, it wasn't that windy, but there was a wee bit of breeze when I first, kind of first arrived. But now, it's just a pretty kind of calm night. Still a wee breeze, but nothing much. So I'll bring you back uh, once Ryan gets here. Don't go away, because the night's yet young. Ryan's arrived. So, he's getting set up. I was gearing out his bag. Good to go. Look at that, but. Could have buy it for a million dollars in the night shit young. It's about eight o'clock, so me and Ryan sitting million dollar view all in the distance. Hopefully get a good sunset tonight. Sinking a few beers, some wine, some brandy. Mm. <laughs> Helen might see this. Oh, shh. <laughs> shh. But it really is just, you just couldn't buy this, could you? Look at that. So, as I always say, get yourself out there. Stop sitting in the house. This is what you're missing. Sun's went down. You know what time it is. It's cooking time. Did you bring butter? I didn't bring butter. There's no butter. Oh, did you bring a plate? There's no plate there. I don't need a plate. I'll just eat it. No, I think, no, I don't know. I don't know whether I've got a plate or not. But, what time is it? Half eight. Sun's went down. You just can't beat this. Great wee fire pit, these. I know a couple of folk that have gotten, but very handy, leave no trace, doesn't leave any marks on the ground, even though we, we have got a, you'll see this later, we've got a nice beach fire pit set up down on the beach, so we'll set that up, get that lit later on, but right now, I think it's time, it's time for a bit of cooking. It's that time of night, it's sizzle time. Bacon, comment below. Who likes bacon? If you don't like bacon, I hope you're not a, a vegan. <laughs> if you don't like bacon, there's something wrong with you. Oh, sizzle tastic. First it was the bacon, then it was the burgers, then it's the Mexican cheese, cheese rolls, all the hours of the night, Get sweet chilli, chicken kebabs, Mediterranean style vegetables, more burgers, more rolls, more burgers, more Strawberry. rolls, <laughs> strawberries, and a view to die for. Dinner is served. Oh, you know I'm gonna taste fantastic. So burgers, bacon, Mexican cheese, we bit of barbecue sauce, cheese rolls. Loving the dream. And Colin forgot a plate. Yep. 
but you don't need a plate because you know it's just going to get scoffed. What up, Petit? Good ride. Ching ching. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll take that one out there. Cheers. <laughs> Beat sitting in the house, folks. Beat sitting in the house. Can't tell a lie. Very nice line. Top master chef tonight. You've still got fucking kick. Well, I was actually, before you arrived, Everybody was watching me you know, on. I did actually say that I'm terrible for coming out. There's, when I go myself, I'm always cooking. But when I go out with other folk, I'm terrible for not cooking. But I'm determined tonight. I'm going to cook these sweet chilli kebabs. Oh, happy days. There we go. Frying pan. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, so he's on it. He's on it. So, do you want me to open the packet for you? Round two. Chicken kebabs. Next up, Mediterranean vegetables. Took some of them in. Let them cook a wee bit first, and then we'll check in the chicken. Chicken? Chick, 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 chicken! We'll put in the sweet chicken kebabs. We'll do them next. So let them cook off a wee bit first, and then we'll check the chick. <laughs> Getting worse, isn't it? Chicken kebabs. He'll be up next. Now he's going to get the fire going. The Mediterranean vegetables are cooking. I think it's time for chicken kebabs. Sweet chilli. Oh, yes. You know they're going to taste superb. So as ever, we don't starve. You've got to love a scran, don't you? Fire on. So, some folk moan about a fire, but personally, to me, you go camping, you've got to have a fire, don't you? Especially, you've got a view like that. Well, we've got the fire on. Doing off the grass, doing on the beach. Chicken kebabs and they go. Mm -hmm. It's just an absolute cracking night. Absolutely cracking. The sky's that kind of pure, kind of orangey, kind of pink way. Just paradise. Looking good. Good to go. Right, sweet chilli kebabs with Mediterranean vegetables. Tasty snackaroonie. Ah, paradise. That's what it's all about, it really is. Look at that. Night sky, fire on. All's good. Cooking. Brilliant wee night. Fantastic weather. Good wee scran. So, I'm going to head to our beds. So, it brings me back in the morning. Uh, well, I'll probably actually clean out my tent first. But it's just been, the weather's been fantastic. Just a great night, nice wee fire, wee bit of kicking. It's just, as always, it's just brilliant to be out. But right now, I'm going to climb into the tent. That's the fire. 
I've seen the fire so I'll just sit and watch the fire. Maybe try and get a couple of kind of night shots before I go to my bed. But brilliant. Just can't look better. In the tent. I'm gonna make myself a brew there. But I can bother them. So instead I'm gonna have a cheeky Mars bar. Cheeky Mars bar. Yeah, I'll probably go to sleep. Half eleven. That's actually no bad. It's a early night. Can't tell why. I'm actually up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. But it's been another beautiful day. So, hopefully, we've got up in the morning. The sun will be shining. Said earlier on, I think I'll get the. Whether I do or not, I don't know. But I think I'm just get the kayak out tomorrow. It was a nice day. Maybe go further down the coast. Back to. to more local. Just go for a wee, a wee, a wee day out. You do it, because it beats something on the house. <laughs> but the weather has been a good night. Weather, weather wise, it's just been fantastic. It's so, just so good to get some sunshine on it. But, right now, when you get into the bag, get my, my clothes and that off, and just crash out, wake up, bright and breezy tomorrow, tomorrow's another day, bedtime, catch you in the morning, good night. <sighs> morning, for been another good day, so let's see what it's like outside. Oh, Something like that sound of water, isn't there? That lapping of the waves on the shore. Paradise. That looks like it's going to be another cracking day. So, put it up. Get packed away and down the road. So, if you like the video, as ever, smash that thumbs up, leave a comment, if you don't mind, like to see comments, hit the bell for future notifications, eh, uh, don't know if I forgot anything else, but as ever, and all, thanks for watching folks, catch you in the next one.
we're going to dash away on the way back. That's basically the sun. The sun's coming out. Oh, superb. So, three for miles a day. And I think that's bit I'm on at the moment is the actual coastal path. On the way in, I just basically walked along the beach. But on the way back, I thought I'll actually go up onto the, the path just for a wee change. But up bright and breezy this morning, like I say, it's going to be a it's going to be a stunning day, I think. Suns are shining. So, basically hiking back, and then hopefully we get out in the, the kayak uh, later on in the day. Hopefully, I don't know whether that will or not, but it'll be quite good to. And it is kind of nice. Basically, get a wee, a wee kayak. Stunning. What an absolute amazing stretch of coastline, it really is. So, you're basically heading down that way, back to the car.